Hello everyone. We're going to do an easy repair today. 19 F350 6R140 transmission. And it's got a leaking pan gasket. So we're going to start off, wipe some of this fluid off of the cross member. And I'm going to put a form of funnel and bend it into shape to help uh, make sure the fluid goes in the pan instead of just running sideways on this cross member. I'm not sure really why this one's leaking. It, maybe someone's already done it before and didn't uh, torque the bolts all the way. Uh, this one does not have a uh, drain plug in it. So I start off by pulling the back bolts and drain it from the back. And then I work to the front and I leave the front four bolts in it in the corners so it doesn't come crashing down on me. We're going to let it drain some more and we're going to loosen these bolts up a little more. I worked with the guy that uh, he's pulling the pan and he lost control of it and he dumped it all the way down the front of him right from his neck all the way down right right in his shirt and his pants and he didn't have any more uniforms so he went home and changed so I don't want to do that so I've got this thing mostly drained and we're gonna pull these front bolts off and drop this pan down Drain the rest of the fluid out of it. Trying to make as little mess as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe most of the fluid out of it. No sense putting it through the parts washer with the fluid in it. We'll pull this magnet. Clean the stuff off the magnet. And we'll stick it in the parts washer. And I'll wipe this transmission case flange down. Here's the new gasket part number. And the filter part number. We're going to pull the filter now. This is there's three bolts. One of the bolts is a different length, so make sure you put them in back in the same spot. And these do go through the valve body. Pull this filter out. Drain it. This has 70,000 miles on it. Fluid looks pretty normal for 70,000 miles. This is a Mercon LV is what this takes. It gets pretty dark, especially when you start getting up around 100,000 miles. It gets really dark. We're going to go ahead and wet the, the new O-ring, slip the new filter in. Let's 
reinstall the bolts snug them up pull this pan out of the parts washer and these are torqued to 97 inch pounds so torque all three of those and we're going to make sure we blow out any moisture out of this pan And I'm checking the flange here, make sure there's no cracks. And also make sure you put the magnet back in it. I've actually uh, put pans back on before, filled them up, and I realized the uh, magnet's still on my cart. I'm going to also clean these bolts. Do one last final wipe down of the transmission case. Make sure there's no gravel or debris or lint or anything. Reinstall the pan, the new filter, gasket, and the magnets in it. We're going to start all the bolts before we tighten them. There is a tightening sequence to these. You start basically on the sides and the center and you work your way out to the front. We're going to snug these bolts up now. Pull that form of funnel and the pan gasket or the pan bolts are 80 inch pounds. We're going to go ahead and torque those down now. get those all torqued down and we are ready to put some fluid in it this takes 8.2 quarts I like to start with one quart less than what it says um, it actually turned out this one took 9.2 quarts because it was leaking so I'd like to run it for about 20 minutes after I fill it run it through the gears and double check the fluid and like I said this one takes Mercon LV and that's pretty much it for this repair really simple job you see here I'm filling it up to 8.2 and it was still low and So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.